But as we walk together, the example set by others can be a powerful source of inspiration. And that is why the Global Center for Pluralism has established these awards. Their essential purpose is to share the power of inspiring examples with an ever wider community of pluralism all across our world. A community that will then create a growing momentum for inclusion rather than exclusion as a way to respond to the changes of our world. Our history has taught us that intolerance is not only harmful, but it holds us back. We have made progress in all areas of endeavor by embracing tolerance and inclusivity, by celebrating our differences. The number one issue facing humanity today is a very simple one. How do we live together? The Global Pluralism Award helps us highlight extraordinary work that's going on around the world simply to answer that question. You know, for a long time, I knew that I got sustainable results in solving ethnic and religious conflicts because of accepting people's culture, not seeking to dilute their identities, ensuring inclusion, and building on commonalities to complement the beauty in their differences. I did not know what to call this approach. All I knew was that it worked. I now know it's called pluralism. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, I am incredibly grateful for this award, incredibly grateful. It may only be a few short seconds since I got my hands on it, but I feel like it's already opened some really important doors. It's opened doors to international media. It's opened doors to greater support for the work that we do and awareness of the injustice that we are fighting. And it's opened a door to Alice and to Lena and to a truly remarkable, extraordinary group of finalists. Right now around the world, I think we can see that fear and anxiety are on the rise. And so too, sadly, is the political willingness to exploit it. And it is in precisely these times, it is in precisely this sort of global climate that we must hold on to our moral compass the most tightly. These are the times when we must remember that all people, whoever they are and wherever they come from and whatever they believe, deserve to be treated with basic human decency and respect. Un municipio donde el conflicto armado y las necesidades básicas insatisfechas nos carcomen y acaban con nuestras vidas. Hemos sufrido verdaderas tragedias evidenciadas en el sufrimiento en la pérdida de vidas humanas. En comité realizamos una extensa labor de pedagogía sobre el acuerdo de paz y nuestro pueblo votó en el 97% en favor de la salida negociada del conflicto armado en Colombia. Realizamos un acto en donde la FARC fueron y reconocieron su parte en la victimización y pidieron perdón. Nosotros creemos en la reconciliación, nosotros creemos en la paz. Que nuestra labor sea valorada y reconocida por la comunidad internacional nos llena de esperanza. Este reconocimiento del Centro Mundial por el Pluralismo es también un compromiso a continuar con la labor de defensa e inclusión de los derechos de los demás. These honorees tonight have done amazing things, but they have all in their way shown a courage that I find almost unimaginable. I'm a privileged person. I can't think of another privilege that has moved me more than the opportunity to serve as the chair of this jury and to be exposed to the stories of these and others from across the world, 43 countries uh, put forward uh, nominations.
Donc le pluralisme, c'est une, une force, c'est une opportunité pour mieux comprendre, pour mieux vivre ensemble dans une, dans une société et de respecter les conditions de la paix. It should not just be for like-minded people to come together and to say how diverse we are, but really to bring groups together that do not want to sometimes face the, the, the real issues.